So first time shooting the CZ600 MDT, you guys know I'm not like a PRS guy, precision rifle guy. I don't get the opportunity to shoot it all that often, but I felt pretty good about it. Like the trigger's amazing, the brake works really well, uh, the stock's good. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was really good. Let's have a look. Oh, shit, yeah. Okay. 1.5 centimeters. Here, come get that right. I mean, is that is one? I don't know what that is. That good? 1.5 centimeters. Yeah, it is. It is. Pump me up. Pump me for, up. Come on. Do yeah, better. for three or it's, it's it's decent group. Yeah. Yeah. Decent. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we can do better. Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV, here at the CZ factory in the Czech Republic with my good buddy Andrew. You guys may remember him from EWA. We did a video a year or two ago uh, on the CZ 600. Oh yeah, 2022. Yep. One of the most knowledgeable individuals and one of the best representatives that I've ever interviewed for TFB TV. You know your shit, you're squared away, and that's why I like having you on the program. I'm just trying my best. Yeah, uh, and you do a wonderful job. Speaking of a wonderful job, it looks like CZ has done a wonderful job with this newest version of the CZ600. This is a little bit more tactical, but you guys are calling this. It's the CZ600 MDT, so that uh, gives away right uh, from the start that we did some intensive collaboration with our good friends from MDT Canada. Uh, and they did a tremendous job in, uh, you know, dressing our 600 action into their uh, chassis that we tuned together um, and did some uh, did, did some tweaks, you know, just uh, just for the 600 action. So it's it's not like the you know like the standard of the shelf ACC or LSS Elite or something like that. There are there are improvements here and there and just you know done so that fits perfectly for this particular action. We talked about the CZ600 whenever you revealed it at EWA. Talk to me first about the CZ600 generally if I'm watching this program and I've never even heard of the CZ600. What is the CZ600 series? Okay, so we released the CZ600 series in uh, 2022 on EWA. And uh, generally it is a new series of centerfire rifles uh, of the CZ that encompasses basically everything from intermediate cartridge uh, up to slightly dipping into Magnum cartridges with the 300 uh, Winchester Magnum being currently our largest offering and uh, having uh, currently uh, five models mostly aimed for hunting but also usable for uh, for general plinking or uh, entering into some more uh, refined shooting sports with uh, the most, most sporting uh, model so far being our CZ600 range. That is actually something that we started building upon with this model but I will get back to it. Uh, apart from the classic hunting models which are the Alpha, Lux, in Europe also Ergo, uh, and the range I was talking about. We have the fifth model that is called CZ600 Trail and that got a lot of attention from you. So oh. I think there's no, uh, no need for, you know, like a deep uh, introduction of it, but uh, just in general, that is a small, lightweight, uh, backpacking, plinking, prepping uh, gun for, you know, just uh, fun use and also small game hunting that is done in a polymer slash aluminum chassis uh, with some uh, motor sporting rifle uh, features like the AR pistol grips, the m lock forend and uh, feeding from the Stanag magazines. Right, and that was what was so interesting about EWA 2022 and seeing the CZ booth because you had a rainbow of CZ 600s. So I show up here at CZ and we're in the armory and I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> you know, because it's like yet another CZ 600 coming out with the MDT. And I think this is great because this is different than what you've already done, substantially different than, than what you've already done. As you mentioned, the other CZ 600 models, you have several kind of sporting, hunting models where maybe there's a little bit of overlap with yeah. some different features. You've got the trail, which I love, <laughs> which is like its own separate thing. And this is more of a, a tactical version of the CZ600, but using that same brand DNA. Yeah. Talk to me about all the features of the MDT. The action is built on the CZ600 uh, range model, uh, but only when it comes regarding the uh, trigger mechanism or its parts and the barrel. So we've got the same barrels as the CZ600 range, which means we are uh, guaranteeing uh, sub 0.75 MOA 
with five shot group on 100 meters mm -hmm. accuracy. Uh, but there are some differences going down. So as you can see, the receiver is more similar to the trail one, uh, having an integrated Picatinny rail and a closed ejection port, which has been enlarged so that you can you know, easily insert separate rounds uh, inside and uh, being able to actually feed from the ejection port. You know, some of the, some of the rifles having, uh, having hip, hiccups, uh, basically getting those uh, tips of the bullet stuck around the chamber. So this is where we actually did uh, the biggest collaboration with MDT. So the rifle is feeding from what it seems to be a standard AICS magazine, but actually to be 100% sure uh, of that ejection port feeding, because that is actually something that might decide your uh, resulting position in PRS match. We did a proprietary follower, which has this additional feed ram mm -hmm. that helps when feeding the, feeding the last round from the, uh, from the ejection port. Other than that, it's, it is a standard AICS magazine that holds uh, 10 rounds. It comes, uh, comes back with the, uh, with the rifle. But if I have AICS magazines, it, they'll still work? The AICS magazines will work, but uh, you, you will have to check, you know, for that, uh, for that uh, ejection port Understood. feeding to make, to make sure that I just wanted it to won't sure. surprise you uh, du during the match. Right. In general, steel magazines feed, uh, feed with this rifle much better than the polymer ones. Mm -hmm. Given the system, the magazine releases ambidextrous right uh, at your index finger, uh, either if you are left or right hand guy, so, that, uh, so it's fully ambidextrous. We've got a extended barricade for uh, for good placement of the rifle against the obstacles when, shoot, uh, when shooting in uh, non-started positions. The pistol grip is AR-15 style. In this basic model, which is uh, the one I'm holding here, is the uh, MDT pistol grip. Here you can actually see is the MDT pistol grip that is adjustable uh, in this dimension. So depending on the length of your fingers and uh, overall size of your hand, you can adjust it to, to having really positive placement on the trigger shoe. Right above that, you can see uh, the safety selector. Uh, you might recognize it from the CZ brand too, mm -hmm. and from the trail, so it's the same system. On this model, we are using on both hands the standard brand 2 slash CZ600 trail uh, polymer selectors. Here, when you rotate it, actually, uh, we are using an enlarged safety selector that also acts as a thumb rest. This, of course, you can sw swap to either side depending on which, uh, which hand you are dominant. And speaking of, Andrew, I hate to interrupt you because you're on a roll, but no we've worries. got these two different models here. Yeah. What are these models called? So, it's... <laughs> It's a little bit more mundane than you would probably, probably ex uh, expect, but this is the C600 uh, MDT chassis gray. This is the C600 <laughs> MDT chassis deep bronze. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. Okay, <laughs> God, you're right. That is a little bit more mundane, but it's, I, I, it's I get it. I thought it was going to be like the deluxe and like this is the deluxe and that's like the, the you know, the basic. Uh, or the, you know, I something. think it's straightforward and, you know, just, uh, just describes what the rifle does best, but, uh, you know, the deep bronze is not an accident because if you remember, we've got the CZT-S2 line. Yes. And you've got all, all those right. different models and the deep bronze being the crown jewel of it. Right. So this is the I crown see. jewel of the, uh, of the 600 line in terms of PRS and tactical shooting. I see. Anyways, well, so I interrupted you, but you were talking about the grip and the safety. Yeah, no problem. And the so difference between the two. Stay, staying just for a moment here longer, uh, the trigger mechanism, as I said, is similar in a 600 range in the fact that it is a single stage. So got that almost point crisp break with uh, your four position selector for the, tr uh, for the trigger pull, like you are used to from, uh, from the other 600 models. And it is, a, uh, it is a single stage, but uh, the difference between the range and this one is the safety selector using the brand two switches. Talk to me about that selector switch for the trigger. Is that for trigger weight? Is it for trigger pull? What does the selector give us? You mean this one? Yes. Yeah. So uh, this, uh, uh, this is a selector that uh, changes the trigger pull weight mm -hmm. of, the, of, the, of, of the braking stage of the, of the trigger. So there are four positions that are denoted by dots. For, uh, one dot being the lightest setting, four dots being the heaviest setting. So just like on the other single stage 600 triggers, the lightest trigger weight would be around 600 grams. And then you are moving in 250 grams increments up to somewhere around 1.3 kilogram. I'm sorry, I cannot do the conversion into, into pounds out of the top of my head, but I think we are talking something 
something around one pound and going up. Yes, that, that, that's right. Yeah, you're, you're starting at about a pound with 600 grams. So yeah, I, I tried this one. I don't know what setting it's on, but I was like, woo. -hoo. That would be number one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> uh, but you know, that, that's great that you can give people the option and it's very easy to change yourself. Yeah, it's easy, adjustable, no need for disassembling the rifle, tinkering with some specific uh, rotations of some screws. This is straightforward, simple, and will shoot most of the shooters. Okay, let's keep going. What else we got? Right. As for the bolt, that is basically just the same like you have on the standard six, uh, C600. In this size of the action, that's the medium action for the, uh, for the 600, we've got two rows of free locks giving a 60 degree bolt throw. Very smooth movement above the AICS magazine. Very quick uh, following, up, uh, following up shots. And the safety is free point uh, with, you know, safe uh, when, when being engaged. Uh, the rifle is safe and also I'm not, uh, not able to open the bolt. If I want to, for example, when, uh, when cleaning the gun, you know, needing to clear the, uh, clear the chamber, I'll just depress the bolt release button and can, uh, can, uh, can work forward. On the forehand, which is integral to the rest of the chassis, we've got the M-lock slots on the three, nine and six o'clock, accompanied with QD's, uh, QD's links uh, studs and also the Arca Swiss rail. So basically of everything course. you need uh, right, for, for PRS for, for your average, average PR, yeah. PRS race. There are also two segments of like, uh, I think it's inverted M-Log. I don't know the, uh, the, uh, the name right out of the top of my head, but uh, you can use this one for the, uh, for the additional uh, spare, uh, spare round holder. Uh -huh. Again, something that is very useful during the PRS matches right, in sure. case you run out of your uh, magazine. Now, for the biggest difference between these two models, I already already mentioned oh, the yeah. pistol grip, which is an important thing, but uh, probably the most prominent would be the stock. So this basic model, the gray one, is coming with the MDT CCS stock, which is partially aluminum, uh, partially polymer, giving you a toolless adjust uh, adjustability of the uh, cheek piece and LOP adjustability via spacers. You've got also a contour for using your supporting hand and M-lock segment for a back rider. Mm -hmm. This is a full-size AR-15 uh, uh, buttstock interface, so provided you would be interested in using any other stock, be it MDT or any other aftermarket, you are capable to do so. Yeah, that's clever. I noticed that. I was like, that's an mm -hmm. AR-15 castle nut back oh, yeah, there. Oh yeah, is. so you it can is. put any AR-15 stock on that if, yeah. if you don't like the one it comes with. Yeah, and uh, basically same applies here, but uh, you know, this being the SRS stock, uh, it's being a little bit more hidden, but the interface is still the same. Talking about the SRS stock, this is a skeletonized uh, billet aluminum uh, stock, uh, again with uh, QD points, contour for your supporting hand, m lock for back rider, toolless adjustability of the cheek piece of its height, that's same like, uh, like goes here. Also for its uh, horizontal axis movement and uh, toolless, adjust, uh, toolless adjustable butt plate for uh, the changing of the LOP, but also of the height of the, of the butt plate itself and its cant. Yeah, I, yeah, so I noticed fully, that. Fully, fully adjustable butt stock, you can tailor it ex uh, exactly according to your needs. Last differentiating point would be uh, would be the muzzle brake. This is a proper. Uh, this is a in-house produced muzzle muzzle brake uh, we designed here in, uh, at CZUB. It's a free port uh, work, uh, working both as a uh, muzzle brake and a compensator. Uh, gives very nice results, especially when firing it from 308 Winchester. It basically allows you to stay on target very nicely, even considering like the uh, harsher recoil of the 308 compared, for example, with the six Creedmoor or six point five Creedmoor. Right. Sure. Uh, the basic model. Uh, comes standard only with the fret cap. However, this, uh, this is available as a spare part and we are using uh, standard uh, frets uh, so that you can use any other aftermarket muzzle brake or any other uh, muzzle device of your choice. So for the European market, we are using the M18 by one metric fret. Mm -hmm. For the United States, it will be 5.8 by 24. 24. Okay, perfect. That is so well thought out. You know, it's usually manufacturers will just stick with one or the other. So it's really cool to see that you guys are accommodating both markets here, metric side and inch. Now, last question. 
Actually, that's a lie. I got a couple more, but okay. one that's important. What calibers is this going to be available in? Yeah, that's a good question. I mentioned at the beginning that uh, we are using the barrels from the 600 range. So that means the uh, initial offer is like with the 600 range. That means 308 Winchester and 6mm Creedmoor. And we hope we will be able to extend the offer as soon as possible. I see. Okay. How much are these going to cost if you know? And you don't, if you don't know, that's yeah, fine. Sorry, sorry about it that I don't, uh, don't have... We'll in see. My head right now. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, the most important thing is that we got all the details. I mean, I know they're not going to be cheap because these are really nice. We tried with this rifle to pack uh, as many features into into it, or you know, more like uh, to put all the necessary features you need to successfully uh, successfully finish uh, finish the match and to be uh, being satisfied and happy with, with the rifle. But at the same time, we tried to maintain it accessible for a you know standard user so we hope this will not be an overpriced piece of junk uh, <laughs> in a uh, quite uh, quite contrary okay. quite contrary you know uh, the cc is always being known for uh being good value for the money uh -huh. and i think we we pretty much achieved it with, uh, with this model as well well we'll certainly find out but when when will we find out do you think uh, the, you don't even have to say it. Don't even guess because I'm afraid that we're going to probably run this video whenever these things are either released or they're really close to being released. And then if you're wrong, people are going to be like, Yo, Andrew, we can't trust you anymore. <laughs> we loved you so much and we yeah. can't trust you. So yeah, I, no I, need to speculate. This, but it, this, this, this will be, the, uh, this will be the, uh, the point because we will, we will need to you know, ra uh, release this only after, after its official launching. But the official launching is scheduled for Shot Show 2024 and IVA 2024, okay. respectively. Okay, great. Well, it's funny because this video is probably going to run around those times. And we might even be hanging out whenever this video goes live at IWA. Andrew, it's a pleasure, as usual, to pleasure have you on TFB TV. It's a pleasure for you guys out there to watch us. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from CZ here in the Czech Republic.